Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hello guys, this is you versus them for the 30th through August 6th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. I hope everybody is has been doing well. And um, we're just going to jump right into this thing. Let's see what's been going on with you guys. What's been going on with Virgo? Please show me what's been going on with Virgo. The Hanged Woman, feeling stuck. Feeling like there's nothing that you can do to influence a situation, so you may as well not do anything. Piscean energy right there. This is like sacrificing yourself, being a sacrificial lamb or some shit, you know. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you guys almost feel helpless in a situation and just really don't know what to do. Let's see. What's been going on with the other person? What's been going on with the other person? Ace of Cups. This person's been trying to heal. I feel like, honestly, you know, what I'm getting from this is that this person um, is more focused on themselves. Um, they may also be interested in somebody else. I don't get that this person is like in love with somebody. This could be like them just meeting someone and um, you guys may have an inkling of that with the hanged woman being there. This is a hanged man as well, but um, we're going to see what's going on here. What's currently happening for <clears throat> Virgo? What's currently happening for Virgo? The Hierophant. Hmm. I feel like you guys have your standards and you're not willing to give in to someone just to remain with them or to be with them. Um, if, if it means sacrificing yourself or sacrificing your beliefs, I feel that you guys are, are you don't want to, but you're ready to walk away. You guys like to be in a relationship and be committed and have that whole family dynamic, but I'm feeling that you guys are prepared to walk away or allow this person to walk away is what it is. Like you're not gonna stop them, is what I'm getting from this. Okay, with that Taurus energy. <clears throat> What's currently going on for the other person? The devil. This person has some addictions here. They definitely have some addictions here. I feel like this person is probably somebody that's very selfish. Um, codependency is is definitely at play here. For sure. A stubbornness. Um, a willing, a, a non-willingness to compromise. This person may be an alcoholic or have a drug addiction of some sort. Could also be a sexual addiction. But there's definitely an addiction here. And I'm feeling like a lot of you guys are saying, you know what, enough is enough. You know, I, I want my relationship, but um, I'm not gonna sacrifice myself to the relationship. I feel like more so you're sacrificing the relationship for yourself, for your higher good, you know. <clears throat> Capricorn energy there. What's influencing the situation with Virgo right now? What's influencing this situation with Virgo? The Knight of Cups. I'm getting that, you guys. You... <laughs> Excuse me. You want to be with somebody who you're excited about. You want to be with somebody who 
shares your love but I'm also getting that there's something that's keeping you here because you guys still want to extend yourselves to this person and I feel like right now it's hard as hell for you to restrain yourself from just showering this person with um, attention because you still have a very deep um, you know have very deep emotions for this person and want to make them happy want to offer them yourself still I just get that you know that it's not what's best for you it's like you're, you're trying to think very logically right now let's see <clears throat> what's influencing the other person what's influencing the other person Justice, labor energy there. Hmm. I think this person really is fighting with themselves. Um, they feel like they almost feel entitled, whoever this is. You guys are struggling because one day you love the hell out of this person and then the next day it's like, you know, take your ass on. I can do without this. I can do without this headache. Is what's going on here. This is a very, I feel, entitled person and they always feel like they're right and justified in what they do here okay Scorpio energy here um, <clears throat> Taurus Pisces I think I've already said this Capricorn and Libra energy under the bottom of their deck is a three of swords this person is hurt I feel like they may have some depression going on here and maybe that's why you know they revert to their addictions to kind of like you know mask the pain mask who they really are mask how they really feel all of that what's coming in for virgo what's coming in for virgo what's coming in for virgo the world wrapping up a cycle you guys have learned a lot from being in this situation you guys are ready to start over um, you just feel like you've been through this too many times to even talk about and at the end of the day you know how this is going to end up and I feel a lot of you guys are ready to end this to walk away to go out into the world and you know get what you deserve here with this world energy Leo Scorpio Taurus Aquarius energy here <clears throat> What's coming in for the other person? What's coming in for the other person? Four of Swords. Healing. Rest. Not talking. This person's probably um, ignoring you guys. Or both of these are Libra energy. So it's like they kind of have this um, what do you call it we have like the devil on one shoulder and the angel on another shoulder and you just kind of you know you want to do the right thing but something's pulling you to do the wrong thing and it's like I feel this person is really gonna have to take a step back when you guys walk away if you walk away because some of you want to start over with this person but this person I feel is, is they may be too caught up in what it is that they want and what they need and not really caring about or taking into consideration what it is that you guys need so I'm definitely getting that um, this person is going to shut down maybe not even talk to you but um, I'm sensing like this entitlement almost like they ignore you to punish you something like that 
okay? <clears throat> what is the outcome for Virgo? What's the outcome? The Hermit. The Hermit. You guys are actually, um, I feel wrapping up a cycle for sure here. And with the Hermit energy, this is like looking for where you go from here. What do you do from here? What is my destiny? What am I supposed to be doing? And that is where I see you guys heading to. What am I supposed to be doing? Because I see you looking for your soulmate, the person that you're supposed to be with, um, where, where it is that you're supposed to be, what it is that you are supposed to be doing here with that hermit energy. But the hermit is a recluse. That is your card. I see you guys kind of shutting down to take some time out to go within and, and really try to figure out what it is that um, you want and what you need. Not what you want to see happen, but what it is that you actually see as far as this person and as far as your life. Seeing things for the way that they really are. Once you are the hermit, um, the things that you shine a light on from the past, in the future, things will not be the same. You will not experience those same hurts. You will not in the same way anyway. Um, if there were things that you guys looked over before in the past, that is not going to happen again. You will not repeat, I feel, the same mistakes again with this hermit energy because here you guys have been through some shit and you've learned a lot of lessons. This is Saturn. This is karma. Whatever you have learned is going to stay with you. Okay? So, and I know that this may be hurting you guys at this time, but um, you'll come through it and you'll be better for it. Okay? What is the outcome for the other person? Nine of Wands. This person is going to want to continue with you because they too have battle wounds here. But this person is is going to get to a point where they're going to say, you know what, yeah, I've been through some shit, but I want to continue in this relationship, I feel. After they see that you guys are kind of pulling away and going your own way they're going to realize some things here um and, and probably come towards you or come back around if you guys are still together okay so sagittarius libra is strong capricorn scorpio pisces taurus um i think i said leo and um, aquarius already all right, you guys, so let me pull a Romance Angels card to close your reading out. Please give me one card for Scorpio, not Scorpio, wow, for Virgo. Please give me one card, Romance Angels for Virgo. Take this one. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. There you have it. All right, guys, so... I'll be speaking with you guys soon, and um, take care. Bye. Uh, I've been blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me? Yeah. The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?